Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to do a quick video just kind of answering a question about a type of paint, and it's rust oleum. Can you use rust oleum paint for abstract paintings? Well, the answer is yes, and I have used it, but I want to kind of uh, break down the difference in rust oleum versus some of the paints that I use. Um, I have used rust oleum, but I don't currently use it. I believe you can use it because it's paint, right? But I want to kind of break down the difference of, of Rust-Oleum, or at least the ones that I've used, and what I normally use. So you kind of have an idea of the difference of those two and how you would use them. So you can use them. I just want to kind of point out some differences. So here's what I've got. This is the one that I had used, um, and it's basically, it's, you know, it's, it's metallic paint. Okay, so I used Rust-Oleum because it's metallic. I mean, essentially, that's why you would use uh, Rust-Oleum, although I do know that they do have some some like regular colors like yellow, red, blue, stuff like that. So you definitely could use those paints. However, I don't know about all Rust-Oleum paints. The ones that I used were oil. Okay, so I don't know where it says on the thing. Like the front of this one doesn't say that it's oil. Um, and so, so when I bought the paint, I didn't know that it was an oil-based paint. I just I just didn't even think about it. I bought it and I brought it home. And when I went to use it with some of my other paints, it separated. So it actually like pulled those other paints apart. It literally like just separated them. And I found out that it was oil. So when you get your Rust-Oleum paint, if that's what you want to use, because I've I've seen it specifically, you know, questions surrounding this this paint. That's why I'm doing this video. Make sure that it's either oil or water, right? You you kind of have to know which one it is, okay? If it's oil, it will say um, in basically in the preparation stuff or where it tells you like how to thin it, it'll tell you to add like minerals or it'll it'll tell you to add like the odorless, um, the thinner. So it'll tell you that right on the back, okay? So some of the cans I think will say whether it's oil or water on the front, but if it doesn't, Look on the back and look at how to thin the paint. So it will tell you if you're supposed to thin it with water, which would mean that it's an acrylic base, or it'll tell you to thin it with thinners or, or mineral spirits or something like that um, on the back, okay? So that's an important distinction because if you try to add water to it, it just separates. And if you try to add water-based paint to Rust-Oleum that's uh, you know oil-based paint, then it's gonna separate as well. So I've had that issue. And when I very first, I bought this, I didn't even think about it, made a Pollock style painting, right? And I and I threw the silver on there, but I was using a gold that was water-based. So I threw the gold on there and the gold just like fell right off. It just slid right off. It didn't even stack. So it was an important lesson for me to pay attention to the cans. Again, I don't know if Rust-Oleum, all of their paints are oil, I would assume that probably all of their paints are oil. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that outright because if if this one is and all of their other metallics are, then it would make sense for them as a company to probably make them all oil. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that out there. So again, you can use it. You can use pretty much any paint you want to do paintings. I'm not telling you what to use, only to pay attention. Now, that's okay, because I know an artist that uses enamel paints that are oil-based, and he loves them, and he gets some really cool effects with some of these thinners that he uses. So you definitely can use it. Just something to pay attention to. So if you want to thin those paints out, then you have to use that. Or if you're making a painting with, you know, enamels or, you know, their metallics or whatever, rust oleum paint, whenever you use those paints, you want to make sure that you're using the same type of paint. So if you got all of those types of paints and they were all oil, fine. That's that's totally fine. You're probably going to have to let them sit a little while um, in between layers, depending on what you're doing, you know, the effect that you're trying to make. Um, but you want to just stay with one type of paint. So it doesn't matter if you use oil or if you use, you know, uh, water-based, latex, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you're using the same type and you treat them all the same way. Okay, that's the important part. So I just wanted to tell you that, but also I'm going to go over the difference of, of this and what I use. So again, this is a metallic, um, but they do make uh, gloss, like high gloss paints. I've seen them before at Home Depot. Um, so they do make high gloss paints 
Uh, and again, I would assume that they're probably all oil-based because these ones are, so why wouldn't the rest of them be, right? So let me show you the difference of that. So that's that, but I'm gonna show you what I use, okay? So I use PPG Metallics, okay? So PPG Metallics, this is a water-based paint. And I don't know if they make oil or not, but basically um, <clears throat> it even says like, do not thin on the back of this. I have added a little bit of water, just, just a tiny bit. But normally I, I don't even thin the gold because it's very, very liquidy. Like it's not very viscostic. So, um, but that's what I use. I use PPG Metallics because it's water-based because all my other paints are water-based. And so that's what I use. And then as far as the paint itself, I mean, if you've seen this channel for any amount of time, you've seen... Uh, the type of paint that I use uh, is by a company called Dunn Edwards. This is a paint company like Sherwin Williams is, um, or PPG, you know, or Bear or any of those. Sure, um, Dunn Edwards is a paint uh, chain. It's a supply chain of paint, but it's usually only out here in the Southwest, uh, you know, in America. So I don't. I, I get people from all over the world. So in America, you know, we have this store. I don't know if they're outside the U.S. I couldn't say. But I know Sherwin-William is pretty popular in other places. Doesn't matter, right? The paint that I use, you can get similar paints from hardware stores or paint stores, and it is high gloss enamel. I've talked about this before, water-based. So that is what I use because oil-based is a, is a lot harder to get as far as this type of paint, the high gloss. It's harder to get that where I'm at, so I use water-based. So essentially my 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 whole point out of this to distill it is that it doesn't matter what you use it doesn't matter if you use oil-based paints or water-based paint it doesn't matter the key important thing to remember here is to use the same type of paint with your you know for your painting so don't mix you've heard you've probably heard don't mix oil and water because they don't mix that's true. So when it comes to painting, they don't mix. Now, if you're trying to get some kind of crazy effect, you could definitely try it. Uh, it's an it's an interesting thing if you try to put oil paints and water paints on the same painting. They just like slide off of you. It is kind of cool to watch, but it creates a terrible effect when you're trying to, uh, you know, mix those and, and get it to. I have I did I did get it to work on one painting, one painting, and it was like a a splash painting. But what I did was I used oil paint because I had already bought the silver and, then, and it was right after I realized what it was and I still wanted to use it. So what I did was I painted the background with the silver oil paint, let it dry. And then after that, I just did uh, water-based paints on top. So just, you know, I, that's something I've done with them to kind of mix them, but I didn't mix the paints while they were still wet. I let that dry first and then I did the other type of paint on top. So. You can definitely try it uh, if you're if you're interested in seeing what it looks like. If you try to mix the two, hey, try it and uh, you know see see what happens. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that it doesn't matter if you use oil paint or water paint, um, you know, water slash latex based. It only matters that you use the same type all the time. And I would recommend not trying to use um, both all the time unless again that's kind of like your niche. Um, or if you're trying to, you know, maybe figure out which one is better for you. What I will say is that the oil-based paints, they you can get some better effects out of them because uh, you can add different like thinners and, and mineral spirits and stuff like that. There's different things you can try to get some really cool effects on, on how they mix together and stuff like that. So you can do a little bit more with the oil paints. Um, However, the downside is that they, they take longer to dry. So I'm just gonna you know tell you that right up front. And then as far as the water-based paints, I use water-based paints again because it's easier for me to get access to them here, but also because water-based paints dry a lot faster. Um, they just evaporate. So I can have a painting that's dry within a day or two, completely dry, whereas with an oil paint, I've had oil paintings that were not dry after a few days. So it, you know obviously that depends on how warm it is and how much pain to use and all these other things. But my point out of all that is that, you know, I've used water-based because of a need, because, I, you know, it was easier for me to attain. But uh, in using that over and over again, 
I've gotten to know those paints pretty well and I know how fast they're going to dry and what effects I can get out of, you know, thinning or adding different things. So I would recommend, you know, maybe try them if you're interested in both or if you just want to use one type, that's fine. Totally acceptable. Just start to understand that one material and really get to know that one material so that when you go to use it for, uh, you know, your own paintings, you understand uh, how it's going to react and stuff like that. Because if you're trying to switch back and forth or, or mix them, it's, you're just, it's a huge learning curve. I've already had to go through that. Um, and that's why I stick with, you know, water base. but totally up to you. You can use whatever you want. Again, pay attention to the back of the can, especially if you got Rust-Oleum, make sure that it says how to thin it. It will probably tell you on the back and most likely uh, from what I've seen, Rust-Oleum is oil-based, so you'd have to get some kind of uh, mineral spirits. You can use thinner from the hardware store, or if you go to a craft store, they have actual odorless thinners there. I would probably recommend that a little more, just because if you use the commercial-grade thinners, they probably smell terrible. But they have odorless ones. I, I don't know if they have odorless ones at the hardware store. Again, I don't really use oil-based paint. But I do know that at like craft stores, art stores, they do have odorless uh, like thinners there. So that's what I would recommend. That's pretty much it for the video. Just wanted to specifically highlight Rust-Oleum because I had seen people ask about it, but it, I know it's also a popular brand and you can get it at hardware stores or you can get it online. So it's, it's very available. Um, so just, it doesn't matter again, what you use, just pay attention to uh, what it is, what base it is and how you're going to have to thin that out. So that's it for the video. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you, if it was, let me know if it wasn't, that's okay. Let me know. Um, or if you want to know about other brands or other types of paint or, you know, different, uh, things, just let me know. And if I have experience in it, then I will make a video response. If I don't, I'll let you know in the comments. So that's it. Take care. Thank you. God bless. I'll see you in the next video and stay safe.